Hello, welcome back to my studio. Today I'm going to be talking about varnishing paintings. In this video I'm going to show you how I varnish my paintings and maybe give you a few ideas or tips that you can use to make this process a bit simpler. Now I do believe that if you are selling your paintings or even keeping them for yourself and want them to keep looking good and bring out the best in your paintings, then you should varnish them. Now I'm talking specifically about oil paintings here and I'm going to be showing you how I varnish my oil paintings. But the same applies for acrylics as well. Varnish them. It does help to bring out the best appearance of the paintings. It's more professional. It makes the paintings um, resistant to dirt as well and you can wipe them off and look after them much better that way. I'm going to be looking at four different kinds of materials that I've tried out and um, which ones I prefer. Uh, there's going to be retouch varnish, damar varnish and a couple of spray varnishes as well. What works for you is important. It's not necessarily that any particular method is bad or good. It's got to work for you and got to give you the appearance you want. Be simple enough to use easily and be practical. For me, practicality and ease of use is everything. Right, so let's begin and uh, have a look at what paintings I'm going to be varnishing and the different methods. Uh, before you start varnishing, make sure you get some gloves on your hands. It's pretty nasty stuff. And the last thing you want is varnish all over your hands. It could get a really unpleasant experience. Right, so the first varnish that I'm going to be looking at is retouch varnish. It's definitely my preferred way to varnish a painting. Retouch varnish is a relatively thin varnish. It's meant to still allow a painting to breathe a little and let some air exchange go through. So if your painting is not 100% dry on any lower layers, it will still keep drying with the retouch varnish. Now, as I said, I prefer using retouch varnish because I can put it on. I know it's giving the painting some protection. It's bringing out the colors as well. And it's not an overly glossy type of varnish. It's not a heavy varnish as I've explained. You've probably heard also advice to never varnish your painting in, until after about six months of drying has taken place. Now, I'll let you make those decisions about your own paintings. I certainly varnish my paintings within six months. I simply make sure that the painting has dried or has dried sufficiently. Um, and that means that I'm not taking any chances with the painting. It all depends on the paint that I've used, how much I've used, also the weather conditions. In my area, the weather is pretty dry and warm most of the time and paintings dry pretty quickly. But as I said, take precautions and check very carefully. If there's any stickiness to the paint or you're not sure, rather leave it to dry sufficiently. The first one that I'm going to look at is uh, retouch varnish. And uh, I've got a bottle here, Dale Rani retouch varnish. All right, so let's have a look at the way I will varnish a painting. And when I'm satisfied that it's dry, I will get out the retouch varnish and give it a coat of that. Now, you can pour the varnish onto the painting. You can pour it into a jar. I like to pour it onto the painting and spread it around. And what I also suggest is set it up so that you can look at the painting from an angle against the light and see that you haven't left any dry spots on the painting. All right, so I'm satisfied this is dry and there's always these dark 
areas of color will really come to life with the varnish as well. So I will get it on fairly evenly from one side to the other and then just start spreading it in both directions. And I'm using a, a soft paint brush that I specifically set aside for varnishing. Obviously you don't want to use your best brush because uh, the varnish is going to transform your brush into something completely different. And I can see just by looking down at the painting from the side, we need to get some down there as well. Just check there's no dry areas or where I've left too much varnish in a puddle. Just spread it all out evenly. And have a look. I can see the colors really come back to life. And then I'll set the painting up somewhere lying it flat out of a draft so there's no dust flying around landing on it just a safe place where you can leave it alone after an hour or so um, you can stand up the painting the varnish should be sufficiently dry so there's no runs and then remember to clean off your brush before it dries otherwise that's the end of the brush as well right the other varnish that you may come across is damar varnish damar varnish is quite a traditional varnish been around for a very long time made from a damar resin it is a heavier varnish it dries to an impermeable layer also quite glossy you'll find that the varnish as you pour it out the jar is very thick it is a good idea to dilute it slightly you can use a bit of stand oil with it and a little bit of a solvent, maybe turpentine or a little bit of artist white spirits, just to get a more um, workable uh, consistency to the varnish. Not my preferred way to varnish a painting. I find it takes a long time to dry um, and I don't want a overly glossy uh, painting as well. But for some applications, it can be just the thing and you want that uh, deep, rich and glossy varnish. Then Damar Varnish will do that for you. Okay, there's a painting that's going to be our experiment. Get a bit of Damar Varnish and I'm going to pour it into this container, as you can see, quite thick. And I'm going to use a little bit of white spirits. Let's get a slightly better consistency, but not still quite thick. And brushing it on to this dark side over the shadows here. And And uh, that little bit of diluting makes it easier to manage or may also help to cut some of the gloss if you don't want such an intense glossiness. Okay, the two other and perhaps more modern approach to varnishing and protecting your painting are sprays. Um, I'm going to be looking at this one first. This is a spray made by Krillon. It's not technically a varnish as such, um, but it has very similar properties to retouch varnish and it could be used in a similar fashion and also dries quickly 
and forms a protective layer. So let's have a look at that one. Oh, yeah. It says for oil paintings and one of its functions is to help your painting dry faster and also you can apply it between paint layers as well especially if you are uh, wanting to build up layers and you don't want any blending. Now this isn't put forward as a varnish as such but I find the description that they've given there has similar properties to retouch varnish and if you in a pinch this can help to bring out the uh, darks in, in your painting as well and give a sort of uniform um, look to the painting and has a very similar effect to retouch varnish. Okay, um, protect your tabletops of course with anything that can keep the spray off. Okay, after having given the spray a bit of a good shake, it's time to get some on the painting. There's no varnish on this one. And when you apply spray, just move evenly right to left and uh, you should be okay. So here we go. All right, so that's it. As you can see, it's sort of a similar effect to the retouch. Brought the colors out quite nicely and gives a thin and protective layer to the painting. Right now, another spray. This is a spray made by My Mary and it is a matte varnish. It is a final varnish and it can be used on oils or acrylics. So I thought I would actually try this out on an acrylic painting. Keep in mind also that sprays are um, have quite a nasty uh, smell, odor, it's toxic. Please use it in a ventilated room or even outdoors on a calm sort of day, not in windy conditions. Uh, I've got quite a bit of ventilation in here at the moment, so I'm going to use these indoors. All right, so here's our painting. This is in fact an acrylic painting. I'm just using for an ex this experiment really. All right, so once again a similar technique. Shake the can up well and apply side to side. You can also spray in the opposite direction. Right. Now immediately you do notice there is some improvement in the color but also that we're not getting that strong gloss because of course this is a matte varnish. Okay and that's really it. Um, those are the main options that I've tried out. Out of all of them I will use the Krillon quick dry spray sometimes to get a, just a quick surface on the, the painting but uh, my preferred method is to finish it off with retouch varnish maybe one layer and then a few weeks later a second layer and I find that to be the most satisfactory outcome for me. Try out a few options for yourself and uh, let me know what you prefer. Well I hope that gave you a few ideas to try out. Let me know or ask any questions. I'll try and answer them as well but I'm not promising to be able to answer every varnish related question. Um, it's quite a deep and sticky subject no pun intended. All right, well, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and please make sure that uh, you have subscribed and we will talk again soon with the next video as well. Cheers for now.